hello hello welcome back to our channel my name is Steph if this is your first time here thank you for tuning us in I do appreciate it and so does my grandson uh, my grandson's name is Remy he is seven years old he just turned seven as a matter of fact so he was six when we started homeschooling this is our first year and we have been documenting our journey and it has been a ride let me tell you uh, today, I am going over his favorite chapter books and his favorite picture books. Because when we started, he was kind of between kindergarten and first grade. Read um, picture books to him. We um, use five in a row as one of our curriculum supplements. Yeah, <laughs> we use that. Um, and typically, I give a rundown of what we do at the beginning of the month, do uh, give an update at the end of the month of what we have read. But I wanted to go ahead and put out his favorite books for this year that he enjoyed reading. And I tried to get him to come in here with me, but now he's with his pop pop right now and you know i'm not gonna break up that time so <laughs> anyway um so yeah so let's go ahead and get started and um let's get started with his favorite chapter book this year okay so his favorite chapter book this year where he belly laughed and i belly laughed mr popper's penguins he loved this book he loved it so much that he savored it. And when I say savored it, I mean he, when we got towards the end, he wanted just to read a chapter every few days. He he wasn't wanting to read it, you know, every day. He was like, no, 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 let's read something else. I don't want it to be over. And he was like, is there a part two? I was like, no, there's not a part two, not that I know of. And I did tell him there was a movie. So we tried to watch the movie and it was a no-go because it really was not like the book. So he really, no, he was not into the movie at all. But this was his favorite of the year. The other chapter book we read this year was My Father's Dragon. He loved this book. Now, there was a number two and a number three, and we read number two and number three, but this one was his favorite. Now, he is a sensitive um, six-year-old, seven-year-old. Yeah, seven-year-old now. He is a sensitive kid, and I did have to kind of change up some of the language so that he would be able to enjoy the book. Um, so, you know, know that going in, and I'm sure that you may have heard from uh, other homeschooling parents, uh, grandparents, caregivers, and change that language up just a little bit. So he enjoyed it, he loved it, and it was his second favorite chapter book of this year. Now the next one he enjoyed was The Lemonade Crime. And I enjoyed this one too. I really liked this one. <laughs> it was a mystery and it was had like this jury and I mean, it was just kind of action packed. And then I found out that there was a part one and a part two. So, um, brother, sister, best friend, um, lemonade stand, this whole school court scene, court set up, you know. But anyway, it was a wonderful book and he really enjoyed it and so did I. The next one that he liked was A Boy Called Bat. I think because he could kind of relate to some of the things that Bat went through in this book. And the fact that Bat was an animal lover. Not the particular animal that Bat liked, but, um, but the character. A Boy Called Bat was a very good book for us this year. Also read Henry Huggins. Loved it. Loved, loved, loved Henry Huggins. He has a dog, and Henry and Ribsy and the uh, adventures and mishaps that they got themselves into, yeah, was another favorite of his this year. Okay, so my grandson loves Jumanji. He loves Jumanji Part 1, Part 2, and I will probably have to take him to go see Part 3 <laughs> if and when it comes out. So, I thought that he would really like the Magic Treehouse. We started book number one, and he really wasn't getting into it. So because he likes knights, dragons, castles, I thought, okay, let's get into book number two. No. 
but I'm not giving up on it just yet because, you know, like I said, he is seven years old now, and this may be something that he appreciates in um, second grade. So I am going to hold on to these. Maybe he will, you know, develop an interest for them. If not, you know, we'll see. But um, yeah, I was surprised because he does like uh, Jumanji. These were kind of a no-go for him this year. Nate the Great. We loved Nate the Great. Who wouldn't love Nate the Great? He's great. So, yeah, we loved Nate the Great. Um, no, he laughed at this. Another mystery that he liked and that I liked. Really liked this book. Now, the last one that he picked kind of surprised me, but this is the one he picked. Favorite Poems of Childhood. And these I started reading to him at the beginning of the year, and he fell in love with poetry. So I am so glad that this is kind of what we started with at the beginning of the year because um, we do have a few poetry books um, around and he likes to write poetry. So I'm glad that we picked this up. His favorite of favorites, Marvel Studios <laughs> and DC Comics Ultimate Character Guide. These two by far by far his favorite of the year. Um, I have a video of how I kind of motivate him with these two books, but these are a class favorite for sure. Lots of knock-knock jokes for kids. I know that's really not like a chapter book or anything, but <laughs> he enjoys it and it does kind of get him uh, into uh, reading a little bit because he can read what's going on in this. And um, so anyway, 250 jokes, knock knock jokes. Yeah, pretty cool for him. That's it for his favorite chapter books. Now for his favorite picture books. And I'm gonna try to go through these quickly because I do have a couple at the end that I'd like to show you. Caps for Sale. He loved this book and we actually kind of did the mirror thing where we copied each other you know like the old um i love lucy scenes you know where they would copy each other and what each other was doing in the mirror um he and i did that and for this book and um we really both enjoyed caps for sale and i i kind of do little accents for him so anyway we got this at christmas and he has read it though a couple of times the donkey who carried a king. He hasn't read it. I have read it a couple of times for him. Another picture book that he enjoyed this year was A Grand Family for Sullivan. Loved this book. Okay, this one he loved, was his favorite, and we even had to watch a few movies and get a few more books about Johnny Appleseed. He loved Johnny Appleseed. He loved hearing about Johnny Appleseed. And Johnny Appleseed, yeah, was, <laughs> was a, a couple of months long in this house. But yeah, he really enjoyed Johnny okay, Appleseed. Okay, so somebody finally decided to join me. <laughs> I can't get him on camera, though. Hey, I was just telling him that you liked Johnny Appleseed. Yeah? Yeah? And? What did you think about Johnny Appleseed? What did you think? <laughs> it's me, guys. It's me. <laughs> it is him. This is Remy. This is my grandbaby. Okay, so I was just telling him that you like Johnny <coughs> Appleseed. What did you think? You like the book? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. And let's see. Because I didn't know um, how apples were made. Um, like, Apple trees. Like when I was five. Right. Or four. Right. The other collection he liked was hey, Frog and Toad. We Frog loved and Toad. Frog and Toad. He belly laughed at Frog and Toad. I belly laughed at Frog and Toad. And it kind of took me back to my childhood, too. I loved it. And he loved the collection. What should Danny do? Now, he what likes this book, Danny? but he doesn't like picking the wrong choice. You don't like picking the wrong choice. Yeah. You always pick the right choice. Yeah. And then you have me reread it if you pick the, if we try to pick the wrong choice. You're like, no, go back, go back. <laughs> Let's pick the right choice. <laughs> so he enjoys the book. Because, because, because I want um um to have the person um 
um, be good and grow up to be good. There you go. Not there bad. you go. There you go right there. That's my grandbaby. He also enjoyed the invisible stuff. Like, like people wrap around? Mm hmm And like, so like the, my the string screen, is tied to you, your the, string, even when we're not together, right? Uh -huh, but the screen untangles stuff. That's right. But it sure I don't does. know if it makes a knot. No, I, I don't think so. The uh, invisible heart string. One of his favorites. Enjoyed Madeline, but he really enjoyed Madeline and Rome. Again, this was kind of another mystery too. It had a lot of excitement, and we read this one during our Papa Pick. So this one is a Shine a Light book, and if you don't know what a Shine a Light book is, I kind of explained it in one of my previous videos. But this is one of my favorite and his favorite, and I have a flashlight this time to show you guys how it works. Okay, so the Shine a Light book. And what you do is when you're reading a story, you take it and you shine the light behind the page and it shows for this particular one, the water and the seeds in the planter and um, how life is beginning with the plant. These are cool books. We highly recommend them because you get to use a flashlight for number one, and number two, they're just pretty cool. Book that we are reading, mm -hmm. Love Letters from God. Yep, I think some people have these, this book. Yes. If you don't have it, buy it. He loves this book. Yeah, it's God's Word, right? Mm -hmm. and, yep. So make sure to buy it. Yes. Are you watching this video? Buy it right away. <laughs> Go buy it right away. Started introducing Remington to our faith, and um, I actually gave him three Bibles or three Bible story books to choose from. And do you want to show him the three? I showed him this one, and this one, and this one. And he took these, and he went, and you looked at all three of them, right? And you want to show them which one you chose? Pick out which one you chose. So. This one, because because this one has a cross, mm -hmm. and it and and it doesn't have the knight in it. But this one, this one does. That has a little bit more action, right? Yeah, that has a little bit more action. So, so, so I went and mend that. Uh, Is that what you thought? Yeah. Because I'm only seven. Right. And my birthday was a food a, um, a little bit yeah, days ago. A little bit of days ago, yep. So he felt that this one was more for older kids. That was what we chose this year for our favorite books. And Remington... We have had a wonderful homeschool year. We are looking forward to uh, showing you more <laughs> of our favorite books. And um, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much. Until we meet again, <laughs> be good to each other. Bye. <laughs>